Mehmet Idham, CEO of EBI, welcome to the London Book Fair podcast. Now we're here at the P Publishers Association International Conference, uh, where you've just given uh, a very impressive presentation. You're an engineer, an entrepreneur, and an academic, and you lecture in economics. So which of those personas led you to, to found Ide Fix in 1998? Uh, Actually, I'm the manager of the company. I'm not the founder. Right. So I've been managing the company uh, since five years. Uh, but the story starts in 96 uh, as one of the first uh, online businesses in Turkey. And uh, it took about two years until they were really online because they were basically um, doing the book business at that time. And they had to create the catalog from, from scratch work with databases which uh, of, of that time, uh, technology-wise. So um, it was an effort. It was the first pioneering work, uh, which came online in 98. Now, that's a brave move, because you were ahead of Amazon. The Turks buy a lot of books, but you do have 6,000 bookshops in the country. Um, it was, and it, it took some time for the publishers to understand what we were doing, uh, because there was some guy coming with a motorcycle, <laughs> picking a few books and going away. And they said, what sort of a business model is this? And it took some time, of course, until uh, the customers also uh, started getting acquainted with buying online, which was rather new uh, in Turkey at that time. And of course, it was an early entry. And uh, EBI, our company, also had other uh, internet initiatives, ventures, if you may say so. So uh, it had very different revenue streams coming. And it, it could support Idefix, the first online bookstore, um, for quite some time. And then now, of course, it's something by itself. And it is spreading now to wholesale B2B e-commerce also. Given that you were working ahead of Amazon, you were really far-sighted. Was Turkey a very wide country at that point? Is it ahead, was it ahead of the rest of the world in some ways? Uh, well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was the beginning of the 90s with this multimedia revolution, mm -hmm. so-called, where the computer started to uh, sing and dance, yeah. if you may, with lots of uh, audiovisual in it. Uh, the hype was started actually uh, then, and uh, the moment the internet uh, started to spread out, of course people were very quick to uh, jump on uh, to online business solutions, and um, it was very quick uh, spreading environment actually. Um, in Turkey. Now it's a different model to Amazon. Publishers have set prices uh, and you're obviously very keen to ensure that everyone can live and that you support the industry you're working with. Does that mean that Turkey has fixed pricing for books or are you just being kind and benevolent and supporting the industry that supports you? No, we always thought that we are going to live if the publishers are living. Uh, at, so although Turkey doesn't have a re price regulation whatsoever, it's, it was not like in Germany, France, or England. It's never had. Ten years, ten years ago, never had a price regulation or never had regulation against price competition. Uh, our policy has always been to work with publishers and uh, to work with a so-called agency model. Uh, and we continue this policy also with the e-book initiative, which we started in 2010. What will happen, though, if an international operator comes in and, and undercuts all those prices? Uh, well, local operators already started selling e-books uh, through their uh, applications from tablets uh, because they, they are very keen to provide their customers with value-added services. Uh, but we are aggregating the books to them, and one of our conditions in our contracts is that the, the publisher sets the price, and they are not allowed uh, to, to go into fierce price competition except the one we ha already have in online businesses. Unfortunately, online um, retailers are uh, doing fierce price reductions all the way up to 25-30%. Uh, we, we try to cut this down, at least we, we cut it down to 15% a couple of years ago. Uh, we are not giving more than 15% discounts uh, and we don't want to compete with the bookstores, but uh, there is fierce price competition on the online sphere. So it was uh, very important for us to, to put these conditions uh, to the online opera uh, mobile operators who want to sell e-books uh, because it's a very touchy issue, as you might think. You've now got something like a 5% share of the market. Your customers are young, they're highly educated. 
What are they buying? Are they buying fiction, general non-fiction, academic titles? Uh, we are more in fiction and literature, uh, actually. The academic sphere is totally different, and uh, there are other players there. Uh, our customers have been buying uh, basically fiction and literature books from us, so we are in, uh, e in e-books. We are basically on that uh, side. You've launched an e-zine, which is now also appears in print, uh, Sabit Fikir, which is uh, Turkish for Ide Fix, I think. Is that very much a shop window for the company? Actually, it's, it started as, a, as an e-zine, or e uh, whichever way you pronounce uh -huh. it. Um, and the, the basic aim was actually to create the traffic and provide rich content to our customers. But gradually, it started to become you know, a major literary uh, channel and uh, the editorial staff is very young and very um, dedicated and we have we have a policy where usually we don't want to spare our words as, as far as critics is concerned and in Turkey uh, that's a problem in the literary sphere because usually uh, the the books magazines which are supplements to major newspapers are very careful in criticizing anything uh, because of political reasons and um, so so our magazine has been very independent and that's why it became very popular and now it is going on with cultural activities where we uh, invite authors and um, they meet with their audience. Your growth is obviously very dependent on the increasing use of computers, smartphones, other gizmos. Uh, what's the kind of take up in Turkey and what are your targets? The, the growth, growth on the B2C side, on the retail, the online retail is somewhere around 40 to 50 percent uh, a year. On the retail is, side? On the retail side. Mm -hmm. uh, the B2B side is growing even uh, higher, more than 100 uh, percent, because it's a, basically it's a new operation, it's growing very fast. And up to now we have recruited about 1,400 members, bookstores, independent right. bookstores. Uh, so that's another area which is growing very fast. But the retail side is also uh, growing, especially e-books. Depends, of course, on the penetration of tablets and devices. Uh, up to now, we haven't worked on our own device like, like a Kindle uh, for Amazon or a Nook for Barnes & Noble. We don't have a, a native device up to now. We are planning to de develop it in, in the near future. But, uh, of course, the market spend. Uh, depend on the penetration of these devices and um, the customers getting used to use them. Are you able to say what your turnover is now and what you hope it will be in five years or ten years time? Uh, well, it's, it's about um, 30 million Turkish liras uh -huh. uh, at the moment, but as I said, it's growing quite fast. Uh, we are one of the three major online retailers. Uh, which share the majority of the online market, which is unfortunately still very narrow. Uh, taking into consideration the whole publishing industry. But as far as the B2B side, which is growing quite fast, uh, we are, uh, the market of course is much greater than the online market right now. And uh, over there we are targeting something like uh, 15 to 20 percent of the market share in the next six, seven years. You publish Turkey's weekly bestseller list. Is that the only bestseller list or are there others? Uh, or are no, there actually of... there are other uh, other sources which publish best bestsellers. Ours is, of course, uh, depending on our your uh, own, yes, our own data. Now, finally, you'll be coming to the London Book Fair 2013, and of course, Turkey's the market-focused country. Uh, you have big hopes for that, uh, as does the Book Fair itself. What benefits do you think will accrue for both Turkey and for the international community? Well, um, actually, there's been lots of. Um, efforts especially conducted by the Minister of Culture to, to translate Turkish literature to foreign languages. And uh, I believe that's, that's something which is going to change the relations uh, both ways. And these, these events, especially the London Book Fair where Turkey is the guest of honor this year, uh, you know, gives the opportunity to, to meet lots of people. We want to start selling foreign books in Turkey through our channel. And there's a huge opportunity there. I believe the demand by independent bookstores is there because most of them are situated around universities, uh, all around Anatolia. And uh, they simply do not have access to foreign books either. 
and we believe we can uh, channel that to them. And of course, these events are always great opportunities to establish relations. Mehmet Inham, thank you very much indeed. I thank you very much for having me. It was great. You're very welcome. Nice to have you. Thank you.